Yeah. Hmm. Interesting matchup there. Yeah, that's so a then they can move up. Parsons around a little bit. Correct. Right. Yeah. That's a better matchup for Dillard because Dillard will have a problem against a big Russian rush end. Mm-hmm. Like it would be it would be hard for 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 him to go against Demarcus Lawrence if he was there. All right, do we even talk about the game or not? Of course. The, the Eagles game? Yeah. Yeah. Some intrigue with this offensive line. If they're going to hold up. Dallas oh, yeah. has a lot of injuries on their defensive front, though, too. Line. Dallas is going to be out. Uh, uh, two other guys on that defensive front I saw are out. Uh, Darrance Armstrong and Carlos Watkins. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they're already down DeMarcus uh, Lawrence. So they got some big injuries up there. Randy Gregory's back though. Well, right, right. He's back. Yeah. Um, they, uh, that means they can they can put the rookie back. Micah Parsons line, back in his normal linebacker. spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. But hopefully, they this team runs a lot of twelve personnel. Yeah, and we take advantage of the middle of the field, man. I mean, that's that's the only way they'll be able to beat this Dallas team if they yeah. take advantage of. of, of Throwing in the middle of the field. They got to get the tight ends involved early and often. I mean, yeah. last week that was something that you didn't even see. I don't think the first target was even until the second half ah, da, da. in that game. And that's why I remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you look at that's the strength of this team. You know, why wouldn't you go to two guys that are, you know, that are that are very capable of, of running routes just like receivers? Mm-hmm. You know, they create separation. They're the, they've been the, the offense the past three years, and you just all of a sudden don't go to them anymore. Is Gregory on Dillard's side? Will he be yes. on Dillard's side? Yes. Okay. Yes, he will be. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting matchup there. Yeah, so then they can matchup. move Parsons around a little bit. Correct. Right. Yeah. That's a better matchup for Dillard because Dillard will have a problem against a big rush end. Rush end. Mm-hmm. Like it would, be, it would be hard for, for, for him to go against Demarcus Lawrence if he was there because Demarcus Lawrence is a big, strong and has quickness. Mm-hmm. So that would kind of hurt him a little bit because he could out physical Dillard. But Randy Gregory is more so a, a linebacker s type of rush end, and mm-hmm. he's going to mean he'll dance with somebody all day on the outside when he's you know especially since he's bigger than he is, he can dance with them all day yeah. and have great technique. So he'll it'll be a better matchup against Gregory as opposed to having somebody big and strong to go up against. Him. And Keanu Neal is out apparently. He's on the COVID yeah. list for the Cowboys. So that's a, he's sort of like a, that safety linebacker type of player, and yep. Donovan yep. Wilson is also doubtful. The other safety. So there's a lot of in, there's a lot of injuries All early around, for Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Mari well, Cooper's got the bruised ribs. They'll freak. You know, I guess play. they'll shoot him up and he'll play. But yeah, that's yeah. Not I wasn't worried about that. Yeah, I'm worried about C.D. Lamb. He's he's the weapon. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's the guy to get in tonight. You have to cover him. He's pretty good. I you know I also want to see how they're gonna move Smith around this game. You know, he didn't play a lot in the slot the last game. I want to see if he can – they put him back in the slot, you know, have right. him go out there and run slants, something in the middle of the field, drag routes like they did before, Right. you know, in the first game. Give him those type of routes instead of just putting them on the outside and throwing it long. And the Eagles' defense needs to expose this Terrence Steele fella. <laughs> I, I think Kerrigan's probably going to get that, that start on that side, right? Yes, I think so their also. defense. Yep, yep. Yeah, Kerrigan is not somebody that gives me much hope. No, I know. We see he's pretty old. Yeah. Well, he didn't do yeah. anything this last game. No. No. He was out there. I'm like, not when is he gonna play? I'm like, oh, he's been out there. Right. Right. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. No. But I put out this fake tw- I put out this fake quote from Jerry Jones, and I have this person who is claiming that she's from Philadelphia telling me that we don't care about Jerry Jones on a <laughs> fake quote. That has gotten like 40 retweets in an hour. You put that out on Friday, didn't you? No, I put a new one out here now. Oh, you put a new one. Yeah, it's just hilarious. Quote, that city is a mess. What? See, you should look at it and read it in his voice. Oh, so yeah, because I knew you put one out on Friday, no, no. and that got a lot of play too. People were all responding. I was laughing my ass off so- reading the replies to this fake quote, and people are getting all up in arms. Do you reference it as a, free, a fake? No, quote? No, no, he just puts it out. There. You can't do that. It's Why hilarious. Not? Why not? Like, who is going? I, I can't believe there are people going to Twitter 
for for fake news for real news like Carnegie Mellon has put a study out that said that 90% of the information when covid first hit this uh, country was fueled by bots and misinfo on Twitter like Twitter was doing it yeah who I can't <laughs> believe people still go over this place for information so and here's another thing too like I'll put stuff out I put a shot of me on QVC over the weekend with an Eagles a Brandon Graham signed Eagles helmet in the back like, hey, I'm repping the Eagles on QVC. And that got one sixteenth of the interaction of me putting out a fake quote uh, from Jerry Jones. So Twitter is telling me that I'm going to have more success by trolling people than I will promoting my own stuff. Wow. Who am I to argue with the website or the app? That's crazy. It's the algorithm. That's bro. what they're telling me. Hey. Right? They are All what right, they I'm, are. I'm trying to find this uh, most recent. How long ago was it? Two hours ago? Oh, gee, I mean, you tweeted. There's a lot of activity on this Twitter page <laughs> since then. Um, then he hit, he hit us with the Jets are officially eliminated from the playoffs. Well, yeah, people were tweeting about the Mets, so I figured I would do that with the Jets. But you oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. There oh, you. that that city is a mess. Just look <laughs> at how they treat their stars like Carson Wentz and Ben Simmons. Now, Look at look at where I attributed that to Jerry Jones on one oh nine point seven the blurb. <laughs> it's amazing that people don't realize their radio doesn't go past one oh seven nine. Right. <laughs> oh. That's such an e. And then I have I have people go. This this woman is explaining to me how we in Philadelphia don't care about Jerry Jones. We don't wow. care about like it, it's amazing to me that people are going out of their way to a put up a falsehood and b that off a quote that's so obviously fake right and this time i pushed the troll one step further and put out a, a an obvious what i thought was a number on a radio dial that just right. doesn't go anywhere oh that's that's brilliant that is definitely brilliant yeah 1097 the blurb now it's just uh, a <laughs> Does Jason Barrett consult for that station, Aton? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm probably, yeah, exactly right. That's a great call. He's hired and staffed about six or seven people. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>